Alright, some support that I was not expecting for a while, but we finally got Tech Genius support. I am just excited to see this. Not only that, we also got more full armor support relating to Shark, which is basically his sub archetype of his Shark archetype. But anyway, let's begin. But before we go to the main cards, first off, a Cyber Dragon support called Synchro Rumble. It's a normal spell, and you can only activate one of these per turn. Target one tutor or one level 7 or level 8 dragon synchro monster from Gregor. Special summon in defense, but you can only special summon in monsters from the extra deck that are synchros this turn. Synchro based deck, so it's fine. And for those dragon based decks, this is actually pretty generic to use. Especially now that pretty much every sign or dragon other than ancient fairy dragon has an evolution. But anyway, second fact, if you have a crimson dragon and or a level 7 or 8 dragon synchro monster that would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Basically, sign or dragon support can do a little reborn to basically extend your plays. And also some protection as well. But it's also nice that for those decks that have generic level 7 or 8 dragon synchros, you can actually use this card with, or at least those archetypes. And now to the Tech Genius cards itself. The first one is Tech Genius Rocket Salamander. It's a level 1 fire pyro monster with 600 attack and defense, and each effects are hard once per turn. The first effect is that you contribute one Tech Genius monster to special summon one Tech Genius monster with a different original name from the, your deck. The important fact about this effect is the fact that you're actually getting combo pieces off, because there are a lot of weird Tech Genius cards that don't really do much, but those tuners, on the other hand, actually do something. But the second effect makes this card better, where, if you control a machine tech genius monster, you can target one level 4 or lower tech genius monster in your graveyard, special summon defense, but specs are negated. Yup, just play extension right here, overall just pretty good. Must run 3 of, only thing is it's pyro so it is a little weird. Immediately, we go to the Synchros. Tech Genius Mighty Striker. It's a level 2 Earth Warrior Synchro Tuner, keep that one in mind. 1800 attack, 0 defense, generic summon conditions, although it's going to be 1 level 1 tuner and 1 level 1 non-tuner. But anyway, to the effects, the first one's hard ones per turn. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can add 1 Tech Genius Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. Decent, but to the second effect, once per opponent's main phase, you can Quick Effect. Immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro Summon using monsters you control as material, including this card, aka do your Excel Synchro play. Nothing too special, but at least that you can do a Synchro Escape, although I would have loved it if it's not just opponent's main phase. But then to the third effect, if this card sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can send one Tech Genius card from your deck to the graveyard. This effect is hard once per turn, which is of course pretty good because you want to set up the graveyard in some occasions. It's just overall just better than Dragonfly practically, and for Tech Genius it definitely does a lot more. Next, Tech Genius over Dragner. It's a level 5 Dark Dragon Synchro with 20 2100 attack, 1900 defense, generic summoning conditions, and its first effect is hard once per turn when, when synchro summon, you can special summon any number of tech genius monsters from your graveyard in defense, but you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except for tech genius. This is just really good by default, just for the fact that you can extend plays with this and basically actually make your plays because you're going for the Excel Synchro monsters for this deck. But anyway, second effect is when this card on the field is destroyed, draw a card. You just mainly run this for the first effect. And now to a new boss monster, a new Delta Excel Synchro Tech Genius Gleave Blaster. Or Gleave Gunner maybe? But no matter, it's a level 12 Earth Machine Synchro with 4000 attack and defense, requires one Synchro Tuner and two or more non-tuner Synchros, must be Synchro Summon, and the first effect is a quick effect where you can target one special summon monster from the extra deck, banish it. You can use this effect equal to the number of times of non-synchro tuners that you use for this synchro summon. My only gripe about this effect is only special summon from extra deck. Because of course there are decks that don't require you to use extra deck and of course not everything from the extra deck will always be good on the field so that's my main gripe about this effect. But anyway second effect, once per turn, if a monster becomes banished face up, you can target one of them, special summon to your field, ignoring summoning conditions. Basically the first effect helps with the second one, but I really like the fact where it says ignoring the summoning conditions because yes, some monsters do have a summoning condition, so just being able to special summon some of those banished monsters can be pretty nice, especially if they're from the extra deck that you just banished from there. But unfortunately this doesn't banish from the extra deck does it? But there is the nice part where if you banish your own cards that has this condition, you could actually special summon them by ignoring their condition. So who knows, but at most this is a one-up. 
And now to the spells. Tech Genius Break Limiter. It's a normal spell and you can only use one of these per turn. And both effects can't be used the same turn. The first effect is that discard one card, add two Tech Genius monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. Instant 3 for this effect. This is just consistency searcher overall. But it has a second effect where you can manage this card from your graveyard, then target one Tech Genius monster from your graveyard, shuffle into your deck, or if you control a Tech Genius Machine monster, add the card back to your hand instead. Sure, being able to control one of your boss monsters to add it back to your hand is pretty nice, just overall it's a 3 of just for that first part of its effect for consistency search. And now to a continuous spell, Tech Genius All Clear. A clear reference to Antinomy doing its Synchro Summon. But anyway, the first effect is that Tech Genius monsters from the field become machine monsters. That's really helpful, especially for some of your effects. But the second one is during your main phase, you can normal summon one Tech Genius monster from your hand in additional from your normal summoner set. You only use this effect once per turn. Really helpful to extend plays overall, especially when some of them can only be activated on your field. But third effect, which is a hard one's return, during your main phase, you can destroy one Tech Genius monster from your hand or field. If you do, add one Tech Genius monster with a different name from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Some Tech Genius monsters have effects when they're being destroyed. Keep that one in mind. Overall, just really good to help set up your plays. And then finally, we got a counter trap, Tech Genius Close. It's a hard once per turn card, which the first one is when your opponent activates a spell or trap or monster effect. While you control a machine tech genius monster, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. Gee, a negate counter trap like in every single archetype. They have to make one one of these now, don't they? But anyway, second effect. If a synchro monster becomes banished while this card is in your graveyard, you can set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. This one is a run in your own leisure if you really want to be negating stuff. And now to the Exceed Armor support for Shark, our first card is Exceed Armor Torpedo, which is a rank 3 water warrior Exceed monster with 2500 attack, 800 defense, requires 2 level 3 monsters, and its effect is first off, cannot attack unless it has a material, which the second one will counter this by you can detach 2 materials from this card to draw a card. And this second effect is hard once per turn. It may sound bad, especially being a rank 3 25k beat stick is pretty powerful, but there's actually a point to this because the whole point of the full armor Armor archetype is to literally overlay your cards on top of each other. So basically this second effect is just use its materials before you do the armor up. In which, the third effect is while this card is equipped to a monster, apply these effects. If the equipped monster battles into the end of the damage dip, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects and also all face up monster effects your opponent controls are negated. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty strong right there. The second gain effect is that if an equipped monster is a exceed monster, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. So basically this is your exceed armor protection type card, which is not too bad. Especially for sharks where you can easily summon your rank 3 exceeds and do some rank ups. Especially the playstyle revolves around rank 3, 4s, and 5s. This isn't too bad. In which we go to exceed armor fortress, which is a rank 5 water machine monster with 2500 attack, 1800 defense, requires 2 level 5 monsters. You can also exceed summon this card by using a rank 3 or 4 monster you control. This card cannot be used as material for exceed summoning by the way, aka cannot be used for rank up or even useful for armor basically, because that would technically be hacks, armoring up to armoring up. But anyway, the main effects is the first one is once per turn you can detach up to 2 materials from this card, add the same number of armor exceed cards with different names from your deck to your hand. That's pretty good right there just being able to search up your main stuff, summon your rank 3, go to your rank 5, or since you're playing this in the shark arc type very likely, summon your rank 4 and summon to your rank 5. It's also generic, keep that in mind. This could be ran as an engine here. But finally, the final effect, any battle damage your opponent takes involving the monster equipped to this card is doubled basically offering more effects to your Bane boss monsters. But the nice part is the search and the fact that you could literally use any rank 3 or 4 exceed monsters for this card. And then we got a fusion of Dark Knight and Black Ray Lancer in a way. Full Armor Dark Knight Lancer which is a rank 7 water aqua XC monster with 2800 attack, 1500 defense, requires 3 level 7 monsters, but you can also exceed summon this card by using a rank 5 or 6 monster you control as material once per turn. Of course, transfer the materials. There are ways to cheat this out. But anyway, the main effects is, the first one is gains 300 attack for every material attached to it, or each card equipped to it. 
full armor playstyle, equip your Exceed monsters and gain a bunch of effects. Second effect, once per turn you can target one Exceed named card from your graveyard and add it to your hand. Pretty nice. Third effect, once per turn, if a monster you control becomes equipped with a equip card, you can attach one monster your opponent controls to this card as material. Basically like Dark Knight's effect. As a new boss monster, technically just really strong and can basically do bonus stuff when you actually equip it with more armor. Overall not too bad, but this is more of a gimmick engine than anything, but it's not too bad of an engine, so I will take it. And now to the only normal spell, Exceed and Trust. You can only activate one of these per turn. Its effect is that, add one armor Exceed card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And then you can make all level 1 and 2 monsters face up that you control become 3 or 5 until the end of the turn. Basically your searcher while also setting up your place. This is already pretty good for the deck. Really doubt this will be really played, but you can play it. But anyway, second effect. If this card is in your graveyard, except during the turn it was set there, you can banish it, then target a one Exceed monster that is treated as a equipped card in your Spawn Trap Zone special summon it. Very helpful second effect, but overall just pretty good because it just sets up everything. Finally, to a normal trap, Full Armor Exceed. Its effect is that if you have an Exceed monster on the field, after this resolve, Exceed summon one Exceed monster. Basically, do a double Exceed play, but I'm not sure if this counts as a rank up play either. I really think it's just a regular Exceed play. But the second effect is that you can banish this card from a graveyard, then target one Exceed monster you control, equip one other Exceed monster from face up on the field or graveyard as equipped spell with these effects. The equipped monsters gain attack equal to this card, which will make those boss monsters into a beat stick. And if the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy this card instead. Basically, the armor destroying itself. Really hate that it has to be a trap that gives you this effect, but I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, there are other Exceed Armor cards that will actually be faster than this. But overall, it's an okay card. So that's it for the new Tech Genius support with full armor. What do you guys think of it? Tech Genius, I am just excited to see it again. I did not expect to see Tech Genius again. And just seeing new cards for it is just really cool, especially when Antinuni or Bruno is one of my favorite characters. The guy who taught you say how to do Excel Synchros. But for the full armor archetype, just seeing Shark get more new cards is basically very good for me. Still, unfortunately, we don't get a new Shark Drake. But just seeing full armor, basically his sub archetype, eh, it's not too bad. I was not expecting that at all. It's just cool to see. But other than that, that's it for this, and see you all next time.